here I have a, um, a quarter moon uh, looking at it with a um, Celestron uh, Next Star uh, 5SE that's 5 inch at the same time I compared it with this uh, Mead ETX uh, 125 again 5 inch this takes a long time the disturbance inside the airway uh, con convection inside the tube is too much never really can bring it to sharp focus with this one with the first try with the mead you can bring it to focus it's not the only one I have uh, uh, Omni Celestron Omni XLT 125 5 inch and again the same problem so uh, optically it seems to me that the mid at, at least in these two specimens in the specimen that I have has a better image than this comes to a clear focus sooner and the image is crisp sharp with this one you don't get really that crispness get it for a fraction of a second like that then that passes the current and the movement of the air inside it is too much also vibrates never really settles actually I think that the mid is a better option if you want to use a telescope for observing the moon in this experiment <coughs> two specimens that I have which one I prefer I prefer the mid I think optically mid uh, ETX 125 in this specimen in this model that I have in this telescope that I have is superior to uh, Celestron uh, next star 5SE I've even tried this lowest magnification one of the lowest magnifications the highest magnification I should say the lowest uh, focal numbers that I have this is a, a TMB optical 6 millimeter eyepiece I got a very clear image of a mysterious, actually, uh, crater that I saw. Uh, so look at it. Uh, at this illumination, it looked as if there is a jagged edge to this crater. It looked like uh, illuminated very brighter than the other parts of the edges. Anyway, I will look uh, later in that uh, on a map just to see how it is. But uh, superior. Mid ETX in this specimen, in this sample, the model that I have, in this telescope that I have, is superior, optically superior. I don't think Celestron can come close to even this one. I've tested both of them. A different magnification, different eyepieces. Look, this is the range of eyepieces I used on that. That is the 6 millimeter. This is a 15 millimeter. This is the Celestron's own. On 40 millimeter plus so this is Nirvana's uh, Skywatcher Nirvana 16 millimeter and this is the actual this came with this uh, Celestron Next Star telescope 25 millimeter plus so from Celestron itself and in every case the mid was superior the image was clear crystal clear sharp this is the choice that we have a Celestron beautiful orange color and a inconspicuous but superior in optics in this is the specimen meet ETX which one I prefer if I didn't have that meat I would go with this but now I have the meat I think this is not as good he may have to go.